Chinese New Year, also referred to as the Lunar New Year, signifies the departure of the old and the arrival of good fortune into the new year. Chinese New Year falls on different dates each year following the lunar calendar, spans 15 days and culminates with the first full moon of the year. The Chinese zodiac assigns each year to one of 12 animals. This tradition originates from an ancient Chinese poem that recounts 12 mythical animals descending from heaven to usher in spring and a new harvest. The dragon, also known as Luong, is the fifth of the 12-year cycle of animals which appear in the Chinese zodiac related to the Chinese calendar. As the only mythical creature in this cycle, making it particularly special, after 2012 the year of the dragon, has come again, to pay a visit. So, in the world of horology, where precision meets elegance, we stand witness to an extraordinary convergence of craftsmanship and cultural celebration. As we usher in the lunar year of the dragon in 2024, renowned luxury watchmakers have unveiled special edition timepieces that encapsulate the spirit of this majestic creature. As the seconds tick away, these special editions embody the enduring legacy of craftsmanship and cultural resonance. So, as we embrace the year of the dragon, consider adorning your wrist with more than just a timepiece, embrace a symbol of prosperity, power, and the timeless beauty of a watch that transcends the ordinary. Quorum's launch of the Bubble Watch in 2000 took the watch world by surprise. Before the trend of oversized watches, the bubble burst onto the scene featuring an impressive 44mm case and notably, a towering domed sapphire crystal that magnified and created intriguing distortions on the dial. Inspired by a 1960s experimental deep-sea dive watch, Severin Wonderman's bold vision for the Quorum Bubble Watch provided an enticing canvas for artists and expanded further in 2015 with a larger 47mm case and an 8mm thick crystal. Riding the wave of the Chinese New Year, Quorum breathes life into the dials of two limited edition bubble models, showcasing this year's Chinese zodiac star, the dragon. The Bubble 47 Dragon, an iconographic creature in Chinese mythology, the dragon was originally a symbol of the divine power of emperors. Here, the golden dragon's head and torso are applied to the upper half of the black dial, with its powerful claws resting on the moon at 9 o'clock. Realistically depicted, the mother of pearl moon features darker areas representing the uneven, craterous surface of the moon. Clouds, crafted in black lacquer with golden frames, are applied to the dial to suggest the night sky, while the dragon's serpentine tail swishes into the scenery of the lower half of the dial. The Bubble 47 Dragon Eye this second model is dramatic and zooms in on the dragon's glaring red eye. Using metal casting, the eye reveals a series of reliefs that can only be achieved by hand, adding a vivid sense of texture. The reptilian scales, designed to protect the dragon from harm, are realistically depicted and picked out in brown, golden and black tones. Like a cat's eye, the large bloodshot iris has a vertical pupil. Viewing pleasure is magnified by the pronounced domed sapphire crystal. While the two models feature different dials, they share the same 47mm black PVD-coated stainless steel case with a thickness of 18.50mm. The extremely domed sapphire crystal protruding over the dial has an anti-reflective treatment, and the screwed in caseback has a glare-proof crystal without jeopardizing the 100m water resistance. Matching the black vulcanized rubber strap, the crown dons a black rubber ring. Another common feature that does not detract from the artwork is the use of leaf-shaped black lacquered skeletonized hour and minute hands. The Bubble Dragon and Bubble Dragon Eye are equipped with the CO082 automatic caliber. Beating at 28,800 BPH, the movement delivers a 42-hour power reserve and can be viewed through the sapphire caseback. Founded in 1980 the Swiss luxury watchmaker, Hublot, to celebrate this year's Lunar New Year, has teamed up with the artist Chen Fenwan to create a limited edition version of the spirit of Big Bang that is inspired by the traditional Chinese art of paper cutting. Measuring 42mm in diameter by 13.8mm thick, the case of the Hublot spirit of Big Bang titanium dragon offers a barrel-shaped profile, and it is crafted from titanium with brushed, sandblasted, and high-polished surfaces. Similar to other models from the series, an anti-reflective sapphire crystal sits above the dial, a crown at 3 o'clock offers access to the movement, and water resistance for the model comes in at 100 meters to protect against nearly all forms of daily contact. 
While the spirit of Big Bang lineup consists of a variety of different models ranging from chronographs to tourbillon-equipped references, the standard three-handed watches from the collection are typically offered in smaller case sizes, and the new Hublot spirit of Big Bang Titanium Dragon represents the largest size that is currently available within the series. Chen Fenwan's dragon sculpture also extends to the strap, and fitted to the integrated lugs of the Hublot spirit of Big Bang Titanium Dragon is a rubber strap with a dragon scale marquetry motif. Each of the individual dragon scales is colored and nano-vulcanized so that it will be an integrated part of the strap, and this delicate process is carried out entirely by hand, requiring approximately 8 hours to complete. Powering the Hublot spirit of Big Bang Titanium Dragon is the Caliber Hub 1710 automatic movement, which is based upon the core architecture of the Zenith Elite 670 that comes from the brand's LVMH Group sibling company. Running at a frequency of 4 Hz with a power reserve of approximately 50 hours, the Hublot Caliber Hub 1710 offers fairly middle-of-the-road specs among the various three-handed movements that are currently used by the major Swiss manufacturers. Designed to celebrate the strong symbolism of the Chinese dragon on the advent of this new year, Bell & Ross introduces the BR-05 Artline Dragon. The BR-05 Artline Dragon combines the sleek and modern aesthetic of the BR-05 series with the intricate and artistic details of the dragon. The watch has a 40mm stainless steel case with a satin-finished surface with dragon motif across the entire bracelet and case. In watchmaking, engraving is traditionally considered the first non-functional enrichment of a timepiece. With its new BR-05 Artline Dragon, Bell & Ross pays homage to Chinese culture and its art of engraving, while pushing its mastery of watchmaking techniques a little further. To produce the BR-05 Artline Dragon's case and links on the integrated bracelet, an exceptional laser engraving technique is used. For the bracelet, this means engraving each link individually before assembly. Each link is a feat in itself, with continuity of design ensured from one component to the next. The dial showcases the dragon head, with its scales, claws and teeth meticulously laser engraved. The watch features satin-finished rhodium-plated skeletonized hour and minute hands, filled with black lacquer. The BR-05 Dragon features a BR Caliber 321 self-winding mechanical movement. It has a 54-hour power reserve, ensuring not only advanced chronometric precision, but also great ease of use for active lifestyles. The hour graduation is subtly positioned at the level of the flange so as not to compromise the design. The symbol of the dragon goes back thousands of years, spanning every era, continent, and culture. Jacquet Droz has taken it up here, reproducing the sacred beast in white gold. Each part of the dragon's body has been hand sculpted and then polished and individually engraved to detail scales, claws, and more. From the depths of the earth, Jacquet Droz has also wrested a dial made from a single piece of lapis lazuli. While this is not an especially rare stone, a piece this large, this uniform and devoid of cracks is, even more so in a sliver less than 1mm thick that has been worked on without it being chipped or broken. The audacity of this dragon automaton piece resides in the way Jacquet Droz has encapsulated this know-how in the ancient symbols it depicts in a highly contemporary showcase made entirely of sapphire crystal, with a diameter of 45mm. The sapphire crystal case is fully watertight, despite a total absence of screws or inserts. To highlight the contemporary nature of the piece, Jacquet Droz suggests mounting its lapis lazuli dragon automaton on a blue rubber strap matching the lapis lazuli on the dial. This unique piece beats on the Jacquet Droz Caliber 6150 self-winding mechanical movement with silicon balance spring jack and pallet horns, flat bridges, 18 karat white gold oscillating weight with JH signature and black treatment. Sharing the joy of celebrating the festive season, the Chinese New Year automatic 36mm is lovingly worn by Harry Winston in a luxurious 18 karat rose gold case, further highlighted by the presence of a crown. Located at the 12 o'clock position encrusted with delicate pearls. Silently conveying the joy of the budding spring, the new product proudly shows off a mother of pearl dial decorated with white cloud motifs, with a red dragon mascot possessing blue eyes and an open mouth holding a closed pearl. 
The 12 o'clock hour marker of the diamond-encrusted hour ring surrounds the center with a starry sky effect, resonating with the light created by the combination of gemstones of the same type present on the bezel of the glass. Paired with the harmonious red crocodile leather strap, the Chinese New Year automatic 36mm is limited to exactly 8 pieces, a number that symbolizes good luck and complete happiness. In particular, the time machine displays hours and minutes thanks to the HW2010 movement displayed through the sapphire glass back, safely protected in a brilliant red octagonal box. Bovet Racedal 26 Chapter 2 Golden Dragon, a masterpiece in high horology. Bovet's artisans, designers and engineers have worked hard to make this timepiece a reality. With Bovet's history with China, they have made sure this timepiece dedicated to the Chinese Lunar New Year exceeds their own expectations in Hate horology. The Bovet Racedal 26 Chapter 2 comes with so many design features, many of which are award-winning designs that dedicating a limited edition model to celebrate the Year of the Dragon makes this all the more special. Introduced in 2020, the Bovet Racedal 26 Brainstorm Chapter 2 was honored for its engineering brilliance and received the 2020 Grand Prix de Horlogerie de Genève Award for Mechanical Exception. The design characteristics of the Bovet Racedal 26 Brainstorm Chapter 2 have transferred across into this new Racedal 26 Chapter 2 Golden Dragon. The watch still features the Brainstorm's patented double-sided flying tourbillon, an indexable second time zone indicator with a 24-city disc, and the moon phase. It also comes with Bovet's iconic and patented writing desk case in 18 karat rose gold. The writing desk case is a signature design of Bovet's. As the name suggests, the case has been designed in a way to resemble a writing slope, with the case's proportions getting slimmer. Starting from 12 o'clock, the case becomes a thinner profile as it works down to 6 o'clock. This allows for easy viewing of the stunning dial and its features without the need to turn your wrist. The complications on the dial are split up into three complications. Firstly, at the 12 o'clock position is the blue quartz dome dial, which displays the local time. The second dome is at 3 o'clock, which displays the second time zone. This second time zone has been specifically developed for this watch, and has been patented by the House of Bovet. Within this dome, the names of the cities representing the 24 time zones are printed onto the dome itself. The dome makes a complete revolution every 24 hours. The second time zone is shown on the dome through a three-dimensional V-shaped hand, which the wearer can use to adjust which city they want to be selected. Alongside the 24-hour time zone, this new indication also allows for world time function, which means each of the 24 time zones can be read simultaneously. This second time zone dome is operated by another Bovet patented mechanism called the radial guidance system. The system works by incorporating three rollers, in rubies, which are adjustable by a micrometric screw, and is arranged on the circumference. The third and last dome showcases the moon phase mechanism. The dome's surface is made from mother of pearl, which gives the illusion of the moon's surface. The two discs on the dome represent the northern and southern hemispheres and how the moon is shown in each location. This dome, like the second time zone, is also operated through Bovet's radial guidance system. For this unique Racedal 26 Chapter 2 Golden Dragon timepiece, Bovet has overlaid a solid 18 karat gold dragon covering the left lower portion of the dial. The Golden Dragon is overlaid across the moon phase indicator and the flying tourbillon mechanisms. Each dragon takes approximately 40 to 50 hours to engrave and is done by hand. The movement caliber that operates the base Racedal 26 Brainstorm Chapter 2, as well as, the festive special timepiece has been entirely manufactured in the Bovet workshops. Designed to be an ideal companion for travel, the movement has been tweaked to guarantee 5 days of power reserve from only a single barrel. As this is a manual wound timepiece, the movement frequency sits at 3 Hz. Baum & Mercier's Riviera series was first launched in 1973. Starting production from 1975, the Riviera has continued and changed in shape and details. So, meeting our expectations, Baum & Mercier is celebrating this year's Chinese New Year with two new limited edition Riviera watches. Both coming in stainless steel, the men's model is 43mm and the women's model is 33mm. The men's dial is polished with a lacquered sand-colored satin that is slightly brighter than the case. 
The scales on the outer edge of the dial and the date display at 6 o'clock are a darker gray tone with layers. The small dial at 6 o'clock, covered with gray sapphire crystal glass, few brands would do such a special treatment for the moon phase display. The lower layer is a polished red moon phase, also made of lacquer, decorated with gold-plated dragon shapes and two moon patterns. Moving around with the stars, tossing and turning due to the movement of the moon, swallowing clouds and spitting out pearls. Sometimes the head is missing, and sometimes it is hunting in the sky. The date pointer is curved in the shape of a dragon's whiskers. The dragon is not only static, but can also judge the situation and move, which is very interesting. The women's watch has a mother of pearl dial decorated with transparent mountain and sea patterns, which represents the dragon lurking there. Four diamonds on the case replace the screw lock, and there is a gold-plated stainless steel ring on the side, which is a delicate detail. Both watches, flipped to the back, both have gold-plated dragon shapes entrenched, like fine traditional paper cuts, the scales are hollowed out, and the movement is polished like sparkling waves, as if the rotor rotates, making waves, roaring like a dragon, and soaring into the sky. The men's model runs on the Bombadic BM 14 1975 AC1, self-winding movement, while the ladies' model comes with the automatic SW200. In 2015, Arnold & Sons Perpetual Moon freed the moon from its traditional position on the dial at 6 o'clock, staging its phases in a large 29mm window spanning the dial from 10 to 2 o'clock with a realistic 11.2mm hand-engraved moon. Available in 38mm and 41.5mm case sizes, the tricky issue of setting the precise phase of the moon was solved with an ingenious display on the caseback indicating the moon's age with a hand on a graduated track. The perpetual moon year of the dragon comes in a 41.5mm polished rose gold case with a height of 11.67mm, including the domed sapphire crystal protecting the dial. Available with a black aventurin or a blue aventurin dial, depicted in a nocturnal garden, complete with gnarled pine trees and illuminated by the large panoramic moon, is a majestic hand-sculpted rose gold dragon. The black or blue aventurin glass sparkling in the background evokes the night sky. Floating in an aventurine night sky with hand-painted constellations of the Great Bear and Cassiopeia, the large realistic moon is crafted in mother-of-pearl with hand-painted shadows. The constellations in the moon are overlaid with superluminova to glow in the dark. The precision moon phase complication is fully integrated into the movement and will only deviate by one day every 122 years. Equipped with the manual winding A and S1512 caliber, the double barrels provide a hearty 90-hour power reserve. The black Aventurin model comes with a spangled black alligator strap while the blue Aventurin dial comes with an ink blue alligator strap. Following the success of the Perpetual Moon, Arnold & Son launched a captivating Luna Magna in 2021 with one of the largest spherical moon phase displays ever to appear on a wristwatch. Reverting to the more traditional position, the large three-dimensional 12mm moon revolves on its axis in a round aperture at 6 o'clock. The hours and minutes are indicated on an opal disc at noon that is joined to the lower aperture, forming an elegant, inverted figure 8. The polished rose gold case chosen for the year of the dragon is 44mm across with a thickness of 15.90mm. You have to consider that the thickness is due to the 12mm spherical moon and the two box sapphire crystals on either side of the case. This limited edition dedicated to the Chinese zodiac takes the concept of three-dimensionality to new heights with an impressive hand-sculpted rose gold dragon that might well spring from the dial. Coiling around the dial, the lower part of the dragon's body squeezes under the opal hour disc and its head and torso emerge on the right. Beautifully detailed, the dragon's claws rest on the opal dial as it chases the mythical pearl of wisdom represented by the large 3D moon. The reverse offers a view of the A and S1021 caliber, a hand-wound movement beating at 21,600 bph with a robust 90h power reserve and a view of the spherical moon. Like the perpetual moon, the Luna Magna is astronomically precise, requiring a one-day adjustment in 122 years and features a secondary display of the moon's age on the back. Like the perpetual moon, there are two versions of the Luna Magna. One features a moon crafted from polished red gold and petersite, a rare variety of chalcedony, in this case with purpley-blue chatoyancy, a phenomenon seen in tiger's eye stones. The second version has a red gold and black onyx moon.
Originally introduced 12 years ago, Longpan's Billaret Chinese calendar was the first serially produced wristwatch to feature this specific calendar. To mark the start of the new year, the brand unveils the Billaret traditional Chinese calendar, Year of the Wood Dragon. Featuring both the Chinese and Gregorian calendar, the limited edition is presented in an unusual combination of green enamel and rose gold, a first for the model. The new model is more striking than its predecessors. The dial departs from the white enamel that's been standard for the model since the beginning. Though green is an unusual choice, it suits the complication well as it evokes the color of jade, which is also thematically congruent with the theme. The dial indicates hours and minutes, as well as the date of the Gregorian calendar on a serpentine central hand. The rest of the indications are for the Chinese calendar, namely the Chinese hours, day, month, moon phase, and leap years, as well as each of the 12 zodiac symbols, the 5 elements and 10 celestial stems. While this is a lot of information to fit onto a dial, the 45mm case leaves ample space for all the sub-dials. That said, some of the indications are still relatively small. The watch is powered by the same caliber 3638 found in earlier versions of the model. As is customary for the Chinese calendar, the year's zodiac symbol is engraved in relief on the rotor, which is also set with a ruby. To the right of the engraved dragon are the characters for wood dragon that describe this year's zodiac symbol and its element. The caliber 3638 is based on Blancpain's large diameter, in-house caliber with an exceptionally long power reserve of 7 days, or 168 hours, thanks to three mainsprings. To celebrate the Year of the Dragon in the lunar calendar in 2024, Breitling has launched a striking limited edition work, the Super Chronomat V0144 Year of the Dragon, Chronograph. What is special is that the dial incorporates rare purple decorative elements. Expressing the auspicious meaning of purple air coming from the east, the 44mm stainless steel case has been brushed and mirror polished. The crown, bezel and timing buttons are made of black ceramic. The bezel continues the unique design of the Chronomat series, the two digital scale modules, 15, and, 45, can be detached and interchanged. The most eye-catching thing about the new work is undoubtedly the unique dial color, the purple chronograph seconds hand and tachymeter scale are in sharp contrast with the black dial. Purple, as a royal color, also fits the traditional meaning of the Chinese dragon element. The 30-minute counter is at 3 o'clock on the dial, the 12-hour counter at 6 o'clock is integrated into the calendar window in a low-key manner, and the small seconds is at 9 o'clock. It is equipped with the COSC certified caliber V01 automatic winding movement, with a swing frequency of 28,800 bph and a power reserve of 70 hours. The sapphire crystal case back is printed with a red auspicious dragon totem. Paired with a black rubber strap this limited timepiece is only available in mainland China. Introduced in 2005, the Escalibur collection captures the extravagant personality of Roger Dubuis watches. The Escalibur was reshaped in 2021 to make it lighter, more contemporary and refined by eliminating some of the curves. As a fully integrated manufacturer based in Geneva, Roger Dubuis has produced over 40 calibers since 1995, many of them with bold contemporary architecture bearing the coveted Poincan de Genève. The skeletonized Escalibur Dragon Mono Tourbillon respects the position of the Tourbillon but replaces the star-shaped bridge with the figure of an S-shaped dragon. His head is depicted coiling around the barrel as his sinuous body snakes down to the lower dial to slip beneath the flying Tourbillon, only to see his tail emerge again at 10 o'clock. The dragon's body is crafted from 27 pieces of brass and embellished with black lacquer on the sides and a pink gold treatment on the top. In keeping with the brand's dynamic compositions, the individual pieces are set on 25 different levels at different angles to produce more volume. The dragon also appears on the reverse side, metalized on the inside of the caseback sapphire crystal. The hour markers are applied to the brass flange that is treated with a pink gold galvanic treatment. Matching the V-shaped notches on the bezel, the interiors of the nine V-shaped hour markers are treated with black superluminova. The pink gold hour and minute hands are openworked and decorated with satin brushed finishings and black super luminova inserts in their tips. Powered by the in-house manual winding movement, caliber RD512SQ, the skeletonization results in a light, 
airy composition with plenty of negative space to exalt the flying tourbillon, the beautifully finished components and the artwork. As a flying tourbillon, the only kind produced by Roger Dubuis, the spectacle is guaranteed since the cage is only mounted on one side with no supporting bridge to tamper the view. To ensure stability and lightness, the lower tourbillon cage is made of non-magnetic titanium and the upper cage in mirror-polished cobalt chrome. In turn, the lightweight carriage also improves the power reserve that delivers 72 hours of autonomy when fully wound. Certified by the coveted hallmark of Geneva, every component is finished and decorated by hand. In compliance with the recent design tweaks applied to the S-Caliber, the 42mm diameter by 12.6mm thick pink gold case has totter lines but has not relinquished an iota of its powerful personality. Flanked by guards, the screw-down crown ensures the 100 meters water resistance of the case with its prominent notched bezel and three arched lugs at either end with vertically brushed surfaces and wide polished bevels. For a long time, the image of Dragon has inspired Cartier's style creation. The brand continues to explore this Eastern inspiration even today. To commemorate this year's Chinese New Year, Cartier Master Craftsmanship Series launches a new Ronde Louis Cartier Dragon decorated high-end jewelry watch. This watch uses enamel and engraving techniques, and the Chinese-inspired, Dragon Rising to Sea, picture appears on the dial under the exquisite skills of Cartier Master Craftsman. In this brand new watch, the surging waves are presented in Cartier's iconic blue and green colors through cloisonné enamel technology, and the waves are outlined by iridescent mother of pearl inserts. The image of the dragon is hand-carved in gold with lifelike details, and the eyes are also made of enamel to complete the finishing touch. The enamel process used on this watch requires 25 repeated firings, and each round of firing is a test of the craftsman's skills. Last year, which starred the year of the rabbit, IWC produced a special version of its Portugueser automatic time-only model with a burgundy dial with gold-plated appliques and a rabbit engraved on the rotor. This year, the more complicated Portugueser chronograph gets a Chinese New Year makeover to celebrate the upcoming year of the wood dragon. The 41mm stainless steel case has a thickness of 13mm and features piston-style pushers and an extremely slim bezel, offering an expansive view of the dial. Dressier and more elegant than a beefy sports chronograph, the 3716 has no external scales, no traces of luminescent material on the dial and is only water resistant to 30 meters. Red and gold are a symbolic color combination in China associated with luck, joy and passion, featured extensively for festivities and weddings. To celebrate the year of the dragon, IWC has selected a rich burgundy tone for the dial, elegantly offset with gold-plated appliques, indices, and powder gold print for the inscriptions. Taking design cues from its 1995 ancestor, the vertical arrangement of the two snailed registers 30-minute totalizer at noon and small seconds at 6 o'clock, as respected, as are the elegant gold-plated leaf style hour and minute hands, the applied Arabic numerals, the dots on the minutes track and the flange printed with a quarter-second scale for precision chronograph readings via the thin central seconds hand. Powered by IWC's in-house automatic caliber 69335, this precise and robust chronograph movement has a column wheel and a bidirectional pawl winding system. Beating at a frequency of 28,800 bph, the power reserve is 46 hours. In honor of the Year of the Dragon, the external part of the gold-plated openworked rotor hosts a detailed oriental dragon. The latest time-telling offering introduced in Ulysses Nardin's arsenal is an exceptional iteration of the Blast Tourbillon, specially produced to pay homage to 2024's Chinese zodiac, the dragon. Beginning with the architecture of the Blast Tourbillon, it's one of Ulysses Nardin's lesser-known models. While not as wild as the Freak, it's definitely packed with genre-defying and complex details. The 45mm case is unashamedly beastly on the wrist, although the short cropped lugs do aid its comfort significantly. The angles of the case facets are somewhat unpredictable and inorganic, and the contrast between the 18 karat 5N gold and the black DLC-coated titanium sections bring to mind the high-tech components of Iron Man's suit. Twelve years ago for the last year of the Dragon, Ulysses Nardin released another celebratory watch. 
That addition was rendered in a two-dimensional enamel dial, and this year's version has added depth to the equation. Not only has the enamel painting become a sculpture of red gold, but the dragon's form now writhes and twists between the openwork dial's struts. It's not just a technical feat, it's also an artistic one because of the illusion of life it brings to the display. The depth of color is truly incredible, and the intricate texture is mesmerizing from the scales to the fingernails. Of course, the pearl has been given pride of place at the center of the tourbillon cage. Remaining within reach of the dragon's grasp, it alluringly spins at the base of the dial. Beneath the dragon is the Ulysses Narden Caliber UN-172, originally launched in 2020. It's a movement which has been designed specifically to be skeletonized, so each of its components is thoughtfully laid out and finished. Mirroring the flying tourbillon at 6 o'clock is a platinum micro rotor at 12, which keeps the blast tourbillon Dragon 72 hour power reserve topped up throughout the day. Its beat rate is fairly low at 18,000 vibrations per hour, but that's to be expected with a lot of tourbillon watches. The view of the movement through the sapphire caseback mainly consists of black coated and gold bridges, again highlighting the X structure. The Longines flagship collection dates back to 1957. Today, the flagship heritage collection offers classic mechanical models with a vintage touch. The Moon Phase Complication joined this family in 2023 and is presented in a compact 38.5mm case with a thickness of 12.40mm. The lugs are short, straight and chamfered with polished top surfaces to match the bezel and brushed flanks. Celebrating the Chinese New Year, Longines has selected a vibrant tone of gradient red for the dome dial that is brighter in the center and darker as it reaches the periphery. The color red is highly symbolic in Chinese culture and is associated with festivities, good luck, wealth and happiness. Knowing that the combination of gold and red is even more auspicious, Longines uses gilt appliques on the dial. The elongated and applied indices, the hands and even the winged hourglass logo are golden. To enhance legibility, the Dauphine style hands have a strip of super luminova. Situated at 6 o'clock is the moon phase display with its red snailed aperture. Framed by a date ring indicated by a golden hand, the waxing and waning of our celestial neighbor is represented by a golden moon and stars set against a dark blue night sky. To pay homage to the animal representing the Chinese New Year 2024, the case back is engraved with a medallion of a dragon's head along with references to the limited edition, one of 888. Beneath the sealed 12-sided case back is the automatic caliber L899.5 with an anti-magnetic silicon balance spring that beats at 25,200 vibrations per hour and delivers 72 hours of power reserve. Swiss manufacturer, Choppard, had just unveiled the latest addition to its Chinese Zodiac collection, an LUCXP featuring a dial adorned with a captivating dragon motif meticulously crafted in Urushi lacquer. The superb dial of this limited edition watch is handcrafted in Japan by Minori Koizumi, a craftsman specializing in the delicate Maki-E technique. Each dial requires no fewer than 20 hours of meticulous work. Rendered in exquisite detail, the dragon gracefully adorns the dial. Several layers of Urushi lacquer are applied and decorated with paint, gold flakes and mother-of-pearl inlays. As in past years, the watch selected to host the artwork is the elegant LUCXP in ethical 18K rose gold. With its 39.50mm diameter, the watch is remarkably elegant and comfortable on the wrist with its lithe 6.80mm profile. This thinness is made possible thanks to a movement of great pedigree, the automatic LUC96.17L. Visible via the exhibition caseback, this 3.30mm thick caliber is wound by a 22K gold micro rotor. It runs at 4Hz, and thanks to two stacked barrels, its autonomy is 65 hours when fully wound. The micro rotor is decorated with a sunburst pattern and the LUC logo. The choppered LUCXP Rushi Year of the Dragon is presented on a hand-stitched black alligator leather with nubuck lining. The pin buckle is in polished ethical 18K rose gold. Coinciding with the 160th anniversary of the brand in 2020, Tag Heuer inaugurated the Carrera Chronograph 42mm, a winning combination of design cues of the famous ancestor with a dash of refinement and modernity. 
A tribute, if you like, to the importance this collection holds for the brand, the Carrera Chronograph 42mm is still a racing-inspired high-performance timepiece for sports car enthusiasts. In light of the upcoming Chinese New Year that welcomes the reign of the dragon, Tag Heuer unveils two limited editions flaunting bright red accents, a color intimately associated with Chinese festivities and traditions. Two Carrera chronographs, one in stainless steel, the other in 18K rose gold, have been chosen to celebrate the Year of the Dragon. Housed in 42mm diameter cases, the lack of a tachymeter scale on the bezel is faithful to Jack Hoyer's original 1963 design and elevates the elegance factor. Piston-style pushers at 2 and 4 o'clock with the large crown and angular lugs, all polished, evoke early Carrera models. While the cases are classic 42mm Carrera chronograph with a height of 14.3mm, the dials reveal subtle details alluding to the year of the dragon. The steel version flaunts a sunray brushed silver dial, and the gold version has a sunray brushed 18K rose gold plated dial. With their reversed panda dial display, both models have contrasting red snailed sub dials for elapsed 30 minutes at 3 o'clock and a 12 hour counter at 9 o'clock. Instead of having a third sub dial for the small seconds, the dial of the Carrera chronograph relies on an elegant solution using two horizontal lines complemented by a vertical date window at 6 o'clock and a calligraphic dragon character appearing just below the axis of the central hour, minute and seconds hands. In addition to the red sub-dials, the central chronograph seconds hand is picked out in red lacquer to match the lacquer painted on the applied hour indices, rhodium plated for the silver dial and pink gold plated for the gold dial. In keeping with the more elegant nature of this watch, a discrete amount of luminescent material is used on the dial, highlighting the central hour and minute hands and the tips of the hour indices. The dial is protected by a sapphire crystal and the water resistance is 100 meters. A view of the complete body of the dragon is offered on the caseback, its black body with golden scales printed on the sapphire crystal as it coils around the openworked rose gold rotor. A modern caliber with integrated architecture, Hoyer O2 has a column wheel and a vertical clutch, a combination that ensures a smooth and accurate run of the chronograph. Beating at a 4 Hz frequency, it can store up to 80 hours of power. In keeping with its tradition of special editions for the Chinese Lunar New Year, Jaeger LeCoultre introduces the Reverso Tribute Enamel, Dragon, to celebrate the Year of the Wood Dragon. A limited edition that's made to order, the Reverso, Dragon, maintains the timeless, double-sided design, but with a black Grand Fu enamel dial and a hand-engraved case back portraying a Chinese dragon. The Reverso Dragon depicts a dragon in the clouds against a stark black background. It was executed by the artisans from the in-house Metiers Rares workshop used modeled engraving, a technique that starts with the back being meticulously hand-painted with black enamel while leaving aside the silhouette of the dragon. The painted surface undergoes firing in an oven and then polishing for a glossy finish. Then the back is entrusted to the engraver who works within the confines of the area without enamel. Using 10 different gravers, the engraver carefully removes material to form the dragon. Once complete, the engraved dragon scales are accented with black rhodium. The entire process takes up to 80 hours to complete. The rest of the watch is identical to last year's Reverso Tiger, with a black Grand Fu enamel dial, Dauphine hands and applied hour markers. The 18 karat pink gold case is 45.5 mm by 27.4 mm and 9.73 mm high. Like most Reverso models in this size, the watch features the manually wound caliber 822. This venerable workhorse with its 42-hour power reserve has been used in the Reverso since the 1990s. A dozen years ago, Piaget launched a small capsule collection themed around the 2012 Lunar New Year's Zodiac animal, the Dragon. The line gave Piaget the opportunity to derive a new artistic style around this and other Chinese Zodiac animals. Each year since, Piaget has introduced watches featuring artistic crafts dedicated to the Chinese New Year. So, to celebrate this year's Chinese New Year, Piaget has leveraged last dozen years' experience to create a wider capsule series themed around the mythical dragon and its paired counterpart, the Phoenix. Focusing on the timepieces, one of which is a stunning Polo Imperador Tourbillon watch decorated with gemstones and an engraved dragon whose tail starts at the lower left lug and snakes around the entire case, 
bezel, and dial, with the dragon's head on the right side of the dial where the time-telling display rests. The rose gold dragon, micro rotor, and the small seconds ring around the tourbillon carriage perfectly match the case and bezel. The remainder of the watch is completely set with brilliant cut sapphires and diamonds, including the sides of the bezel and case. Using a snow setting, Piaget has ensured that every millimeter of the watch is set with a precious stone, using hundreds to cover the entire watch and going from clear diamonds around the dragon's head to vivid blue sapphires around the top left lug, like a midnight sky. The 46.5 mm watch is limited to just 8 pieces and is powered by Piaget's ultra-thin 1270p automatic tourbillon movement, at just 5.5 mm thick and offering autonomy of up to 42 hours. With its off-center display, large tourbillon, and visible micro-rotor on the dial, it's a highlight of this dragon-themed capsule. Three Altiplano models have been created with a few different enamel techniques by one of the industry's finest, Anita Porsche. There are two 38mm Altiplano Zodiac references, one in white gold featuring a purple dragon and the other in pink gold with a flaming red phoenix. Purple is a royal color in Chinese tradition, and this particular cloisonné and miniature enamel dragon is seen on the dial flying among mother of pearl clouds that are carefully carved. The details of the dragon are further enhanced by gold engraving. The phoenix watch features the mythical bird spreading her wings in the sky, with its iconic long tail plumage in bold red and flaming orange hues. The phoenix soars in the sky, depicted by carved mother of pearl clouds and cloisonné enamel, along with micro engraving on the plumage of the figure. The bezel of the Altiplano watch is set with 68 brilliant cut diamonds, with Piaget's logo on the dial and a two-hand display for the time. The watches are in limited editions of 38 pieces each and are powered by Piaget's 430p manual winding movement. In addition, the 41mm model also has a Pelané enamel dial, applying translucent coats of enamel over sheets of gold for bright, striking colors, with an incredibly detailed engraved gold dragon clutching a black opal fireball in its claw. The dragon is depicted on a starry night sky with glowing lines that shine out from the opal. Like its smaller Altiplano models, it also features a row of brilliant cut diamonds on the bezel. Two jewelry watches are also available in white or pink gold, with hand-engraved gold bracelets using a decor palace finishing and a bezel in the style of a phoenix. The engraved mythical bird is set with marquees and brilliant cut diamonds and rubies on the white gold model, while the rose gold version features diamonds of both cuts. The dials of both models are in white mother of pearl. These two 32mm watches are limited to just 8 pieces each and equipped with Piaget's 430p ultra-thin, hand-wound movements. For this lunar year, Piaget is also presenting two made-to-order jewelry cuff watches with dragon and phoenix designs. The dragon cuff watch is fringed in onyx with a mix of baguette, marquise, and brilliant cut diamonds and holds a black opal cabochon. A diamond set watch dial rests just below the chin of the dragon's jaw. The phoenix cuff watch features a hand engraved white gold phoenix bird set with pink rubies, pink sapphires, and cobalt spinels in round and marquise cuts with an extravagant pink feather and a rubellite cabochon under which resides the watch dial. These two cuff watches can be customized to a client's preference, depending on the type of stones they like. Swiss luxury watchmaker, Breguet, has introduced two new timepieces, the Classique Double Tourbillon Dragon 5345 Special Edition and the Classique Dragon 7145 Limited Edition, each designed to commemorate the 2024 Lunar New Year and the Year of the Dragon. The Classique Double Tourbillon Dragon 5345 embodies a blend of technical prowess and artistic craftsmanship. Drawing from Abraham Louis Brigitte's invention of the tourbillon in 1801, this watch features two independent tourbillons, each rotating once per minute. These mechanisms are part of a complex 749 component caliber 588 N1 movement, offering a 60 hour power reserve. The highlight of this watch is its intricate dragon design, hand engraved in gold, clutching a mother of pearl pearl meant to symbolize power and wisdom. The rotating plate showcases a hand guilloche fan motif while the lower bridge is adorned with an anthracite Klaus de Paris hobnail pattern. 
Additionally, laser engraved Roman numerals filled with black varnish accent the face. While Brigitte's interpretation of the watch is on its own a work of art, the watchmaker also offers personalization options for the dragon's shape, color, numeral colors, hands and strap. As for the Classique Dragon 7145, it stands as a testament to Brigitte's mastery in Grand Fu enameling, a rare and challenging technique. This limited edition features a crimson red dial, achieved by multiple firings in a high temperature kiln. Notably, the rose gold dragon applique stands out on the dial, guarding a natural white mother of pearl pearl. Inside the 40mm rose gold case lies the caliber 502.3 self-winding movement, just 2.40mm thick, providing a 45-hour power reserve. The movement features silicon components, enhancing resistance to magnetic fields and improving precision. The gold oscillating weight, visible through the sapphire caseback, is decorated with a Han Guilloche circular barleycorn motif. Originally presented in 2012 to that year of the dragon, and reputedly priced at over 3 million United States dollars at the time, the Parmigiani Le Dragon at La Pearl du Savoie has been restored just in time for this year of the dragon in 2024. Now renamed Tempest Fujit, the automaton made up of a dragon chasing a flaming pearl, a traditional motif in Chinese culture. Such extravagant automatons clocks are rare today, only Van Cleef and Arpels regularly creates such one-offs now, but are undeniably impressive. Like its peers, the Dragon Automaton combines goldsmithing, gem setting, automata construction, and of course clockmaking, all techniques mastered by Parmigiani thanks to its restoration department, which was historically the best in Switzerland. Naturally, the brand's affordable and relatively more ordinary wristwatch offerings don't possess the same extravagant craft, but it is good to know the scope of the brand's capabilities. A familiar motif in Chinese folklore, the dragon chasing a flaming pearl represents the pursuit of wisdom, prosperity, or power. Here it has been realized in tangible form with a solid gold dragon sculpture covered in 585 scales, each inlaid with jade in graduated colors, while the eyes and tongue of the dragon are carnelian. The pearl is similarly precious and set with diamonds, rubies, and yellow sapphires. As a result of all the precious materials used, the Just Automaton stands 25 centimeters high but weighs a hefty 6.12 kg. The dragon makes one revolution an hour on its base, inching closer to the pearl. However, the pearl speeds up and out of the dragon's reach at six random times an hour, ensuring the chase continues in perpetuity. Each time the pearl speeds up, the chiming mechanism strikes a single note. The Automaton is powered by a key wound, eight-day movement visible inside the rock crystal base. The time display is situated on the outer rim of the base with a jade pointer on an hour scale. With Bacharin Constantine's long association with China, its presence in the country dates back to 1845 it's only natural that the luxury Swiss watch brand would commemorate that relationship with special edition watches that depicts the Chinese zodiac animal of each year. For the year of the dragon, Bacharin Constantine has unveiled its Metiers d'Art The Legend of the Chinese Zodiac Year of the Dragon, a collection that captures the attributes synonymous with this mythical, majestic five-clawed creature, nobility, strength, good luck and success. Also, as part of a series reflecting the brand's spirit of openness to discover the world and its wonders, Bacharin Constantine has rolled out in time for the Lunar New Year the Les Cabinodiers Grizel High Jewelry Dragon. This unique timepiece is an exquisite testament of the brand's passion for Chinese traditions and design. The Metiers d'Art The Legend of the Chinese Zodiac Year of the Dragon is available in two 25-piece limited editions, one in a 950 platinum case and one in an 18K 5N pink gold case. Both display the dragon unfurling its mystical aura while grasping a pearl, a symbol of knowledge and wisdom. It's a meticulously crafted artwork calling upon two rare skills, engraving and enameling, to produce an incredibly realistic depiction of this fabled beast, right down to its claws and some 300 painstakingly rendered scales. In the platinum model, the dragon appears on a deep blue Grand Fu enamel dial, matching the watch's blue Mississippiensis alligator leather strap. Similarly, the pink gold watch's brown Grand Fu enamel dial is coordinated with a brown Mississippiensis alligator strap. Time on both the hands-free watches is indicated on the dial in four apertures opening onto the trailing hours and minutes, as well as the jumping day-date windows. 
The watches are powered by a beautifully finished in-house self-winding movement, which is visible through the sapphire crystal at the back of the 40mm wide case. In turn, the Les Cabinodiers Grisel High Jewelry Dragon flaunts a green Grisel enamel dial, a first for Bachar and Constantine and an original backdrop for showcasing the dragon accompanied by its pearl. The green color reinforces the mythical appearance of the dragon. Another first for this one-of-a-kind creation is the combination of Grisel enamel and gem setting. The 40mm 18K white gold case sparkles with 146 baguette cut diamonds on the bezel, middle and lugs. A reverse set brilliant cut diamond adorns the crown. The dark green alligator strap that goes with the timepiece is also fitted with a white gold pink buckle decked with 16 baguette cut diamonds. The Les Cabinodiers Grisel High Jewelry Dragon also stands out with its slimness. Measuring just 8.9mm thick, the case of this slender timepiece houses a luxuriously decorated and finished automatic movement, caliber 1120, which is legendary and distinguished by its 2.45mm ultra thinness.